You might expect little Andrew Craver to bounce back from surgery like this after a few weeks, but what he went through and how well he's doing has medical experts taking notice. And he was up walking around the next, was it the next day? Yeah. Yeah. And I think within a few days he was riding a bicycle again. <laughs> but it wasn't just any routine surgery Andrew had. His case was historic. One of the smallest children ever to receive a heart transplant without blood. And Dr. Mark Galanowitz of Nationwide Children's Hospital led the effort, one that required meticulous planning and teams of medical experts in a growing field known as bloodless surgery. The approach was a religious preference for the Craver family, but is becoming a technique of choice for a growing number of doctors. Galanowitz, who is also with Ohio State University, says the idea is to perform operations without using a single drop of donated blood. The more foreign blood and the more foreign stuff you're exposed to, the more revved up your immune system is. Which can lead to an inflammatory response that could impact the new organ. To keep that from happening, doctors limit how much blood they take for testing before surgery, modify heart-lung bypass machines to make their components smaller, and employ newer technology to make it safer. We used what's called a cell saver which captures any shed blood during the procedure, uh, processes it, and puts it right back into the body. Studies show using a patient's own blood cuts infection rates by more than half, and costs are cut as well. It was that team approach that put Andrew on the road to recovery, despite the thousand mile round trip to get here. I think they take a personal interest in not only the patient, but also in the family, and um, you know, have great respect for Every, you know, everyone's individual beliefs. At Nationwide Children's Hospital, this is Clark Powell reporting.